Pronunciation practice. Let's practice words and sentences which include consonant digraphs or consonant consonant words. Let's look at some sn words. Before we start, let's look at some annotation. The thick arrows with black words are stressed words. The thin arrows with greyed out words are unstressed words. The slash represents a slight pause between words. The dash represents a slight pause inside the words. An arrow pointing up shows that the voice needs to be raised. An arrow pointing down shows that the voice needs to be lowered. And an arrow that goes straight across shows that the voice remains even. As you read the sentences, move your head up and down according to the direction of the arrows to get a feel for the rhythm of the sentence. Let's have a look at some words and sentences now. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Come join us. For help with pronunciation, intonation, fluency, accent reduction and more. EasyNativeEnglish.com Sna Snake Sna Snake Sna Snake Be careful there's a snake Be careful there's a snake Be careful there's a snake Sna Snowman Sna Snowman Sna Snowman They made a snowman They made a snowman They made a snowman Sna Sneeze Sna Sneeze Sna Sneeze Achoo! That was a loud sneeze. Achoo! That was a loud sneeze. Achoo! That was a loud sneeze. Sna, snore. Sna, snore. Sna, snore. Did you hear him snore? Did you hear him snore? Did you hear him snore? Sna, snail. Sna, snail. Sna, snail. The snail moved very slowly. The snail moved very slowly. The snail moved very slowly. Now listen to these words and sentences again and record your voice saying them. Then listen to your recording and see how close your rhythm is to the original. Happy practicing! If this video helped you then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also tell us in the comment section below if there are any other videos you'd like us to make. Thanks!